happen. But personally, do I think we would be a better educated society if education was provided by private companies rather than the government? Absolutely. I mean, everything that we have that's good is provided uh, by uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the free market. I mean, do we have a better computer industry because uh, the free market provides computers? Of course. Do we have a better cell phone industry? Now, if the government, see, the government says, well, if it wasn't for the government involved in education, the poor would not get good education. The rich would get the best education, and the poor would be shut out. But you could make the same arguments. I mean, imagine if the government was in charge of all the computers, and they had always been in charge of all the computers. They made all the computers. What would the government say? Well, computers are essential to the economy, and if we let the free market produce produce, uh, produce all the computers, the poor wouldn't have any. It would only be the rich people that would have computers. The poor would get nothing. Now, that's not true. I mean, the poorest Americans have computers. Now, do they have as fancy a computer as the richest Americans? Not at all. The richest Americans can have the best, the fastest, the most, the newest computers out there. But the bottom line is the poor people still have pretty good computers. Now, if the government was in charge of computers and it wasn't the free market, everybody might have a computer, but it probably wouldn't be much better than a calculator. I mean, they would stink. They'd all, we'd all have the same computer and we'd all have the same lousy computer. The fact of the matter is because the free market provides computers, Poor Americans have much better computers than the richest Americans would have if the government was in charge. So here's what happens with education. Yes, everybody gets education and it's lousy. You know, if the free market was in charge, we'd still get educations. The rich would still get better educations than the poor. But if it was up to the free market, the poorest Americans would probably get better educations than some of the more affluent Americans get today. Although I guess the most affluent are still in, uh, in, in private schools because the government doesn't have complete control over education. But believe me, if there was no private education at all, if the only education available was government education, everybody would get a lousy education. Now, the only way you can get a decent education is if you can live in a rich enough neighborhood uh, that, that, that they can have a decent pri private, uh, private school, public schools. Although even in good neighborhoods like mine, I live here in Western Connecticut. My taxes are horrific. All of it goes to fund the public schools. I think we're spending something like $20,000 a kid. In, in Westport Public Schools. I mean, if you gave me that contract, if you gave me the education contract for Westport, I'm sure I can produce better results uh, for half the money. Uh, even, but so uh, even where the, the government provides education that's good, it's way overpriced. But look, anything that you want, anything that's important needs to be provided by the free market, whatever it is, education, food, clothing, shelter, the most important things are the are the last things that you want the government to get involved in. You know, health care, but unfortunately the government is big in health care, big in education, and they've screwed it all up.